Hey, what's going on, Flash Mob? I hope you guys have been taking care of yourself, staying busy, and out of trouble. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about audio. The folks over at Comico were nice enough to send me out a unit for their Boom XD Pro, which is a wireless lavalier microphone. We're gonna figure out how it stacks up against some of the other options on the market. Run the intro. I want to mention that Kamika did send me out this unit for review, but as always, my opinion is 100% authentic to my experience. If I like them, I'll make sure I leave a link in the description of where you can go and pick up a set for yourself. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you details on how you can win this unit in my giveaway. So first, I guess we should open up the box and see what you get with it, right? Let's do that. So this is the unit itself. I mean, really nice packaging right off the rip. That's something that's important to me. It looks like I got option as a 2.4 gigahertz dual channel onboard wireless microphone. And it comes with one receiver, two transmitters, which is perfect for what we'll talk about later, but let's open it up. So first thing that you see, it comes in a nice carrying case. And if you guys follow this channel, you know that carrying cases and ways to get this thing from one place to another are really important to me, really because it helps protect the product. So let's open it up and see what we get in there. So it looks like you get a user manual and you don't really see a lot of companies giving you these kind of things anymore, but it's nice to see, probably won't use it, but it's an option if I need it. It looks like we have a whole bunch of little accessories up here and we'll save the actual unit for last. So let's see what's in these things. So it uh, looks like it just a little wind muff or a dead cat or whatever you want to call it. This is just to help you with wind noise when you're outside. I'm going to assume there's a few more of those. So this one feels like one. Yep. So there's going to be two in the pack. Makes sense. Let's see what this is. So this is what's actually going to go inside of the transmitter. And it's going to attach to you. So this is what your main audio can come out of. That's cool. There's going to be another one of these in there. Let's see what this is. This is uh, a cable for your smartphone. So what's really cool about this uh, unit is that you can connect it to a smartphone and get the ability to get professional audio coming directly out of your phone. So let's say for example, you're vlogging or whatever you're doing, right? Um, you can stick this into your phone. You can stick the other part into the receiver and the audio that you receive will be really clean, more professional sounding than what just comes directly into your phone without anything. So this is cool. Um, one thing we'll see if they have, I mean, I haven't had a phone for a while that had a 3.5 millimeter jack, but there's usually attachments that you can buy, especially for an iPhone where you put it on this and then you plug that other part into your uh, charger port and this will be useful in that way. So that's good that they include that. So this one is for your Sony Panasonic and Fujifilm, so that's cool. It looks like they give you a few different cables um, for different type of cameras. I think there's one more here, let's see. I'm gonna guess that this is for like Canon or something, let's see. Yeah, so this one is for your Canon and Nikon cameras, so same exact idea. Plug it into your 3.5 millimeter jack. This goes into your receiver. The other part goes on to you. You get professional audio coming directly into your camera and perfectly synced. Really good that that's coming for you. Okay, so yeah. These are just cables to charge the device. So it's a bunch of uh, USB-C to one USB-A, which is really smart so that you can keep everything all together. Really nice and compact, easy to travel with again. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I'm a little under the weather, but I'm doing my best to try and bring this information to you guys. So bear with me while we go through this. Now let's take a look at the units himself. So first of all, really, really, 
really small, nice and compact design. What's also really good about the carry case here is that you can see that they have like these foam inserts for it. So basically if you put them in there, they're not gonna be flipping and flopping all over the place. So again, really thoughtful guys. I like this idea. Let's move this out of the way for a bit. All right, so the first thing I wanna mention is the size. These things are tiny. And what I love about them is they're the perfect size to again, you know, slide in a pocket, maybe a jacket pocket or buckle it right onto your pants or belt or something like it's really, really nicely sized. Comica says that they're about 29 grams, which is great. Really lightweight. It won't take a lot of space up in your camera bag. You get about four hours of runtime, which again, in most cases, this will last you pretty much an entire day of, let's say, filming a YouTube video or maybe doing a wedding. Uh, ceremony or something like that like this four hours is more than enough time to get what you need out of these and if you live in Canada like me it's good to know that these work from about zero to 50 degrees Celsius so you got you're pretty covered unless you're in extreme cold weather but quickly let's just compare the size to the Rode wireless go 2 so this is the receiver and this is the receiver as well so you guys can see it's Pretty much the same thing. One's a little fatter, one's a little taller, but if we're really getting down to it, if you look at the thickness of it, like they're both pretty much the same thickness. It's just what you prefer. You try, you prefer tall and slim or you, sh you prefer short and fat. Like it's up to you. It doesn't matter. In terms of weight, I don't have a scale, so I'll do my unscientific measurement here. I feel about the same, really. I don't know. They feel about the same. I would say maybe this one's just a little bit heavier, but feel about the same. What I also love about the Comica units is that they tell you right on the front what it is. So if you guys can see here that says receiver. So as you look at it, you know exactly what it is. And on the other units, it says transmitter. So it's just a really quick and simple way for you to identify what you're actually holding. On the road option, I mean, Technically, you can see that the receiver has a screen, so that's how you'll know that it's the receiver versus the transmitter. The transmitters do not have any screens or any information on it, so I guess that's, a, that's how you identify it really quickly. But it would be nice if they just said, you know, receiver, transmitter. And whilst we're on it, the thing that I like about the Comica option as well is that all of them have a screen. So both transmitters and the receiver have a screen on it that displays information for you to check out. And I think that's really useful, especially when you're doing things really quickly and you just want to quickly glance at things and whatever and get information. It's going to be really easy to do that on these. So on the receiver, when you turn it on, you get some information on the screen. It just shows you the battery. If you're recording in mono or stereo or safety, another one that they have there, um, gives you information on the two transmitters so you can know, you know where the levels are at and you can actually physically see if you're peaking or not. I really like that. It gives you on the side here the ability to turn it on, change the volume of both the transmitters. Really, really smart and thoughtful of them on that part. Uh, nothing on the bottom. On the other side is a USB-C where you can charge it. And on the top, this is where it's really, really cool. I like this idea a lot. It gives you uh, audio out. So this is where you would stick in the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack when you want to stick it into your camera or your phone. And then it also gives you a headphone jack. So let's say, for example, you just want to monitor the audio going directly into the receivers. Uh, you can stick in a pair of headphones that you can put it on and you can hear what's coming out of this thing. And on the back, again, it's just a clip. Really simple and easy to use. And um, yeah, you, you can either slide it on a cold shoe mount or put it onto, like I said, your pants or a shirt or a jacket or whatever. And that's pretty much that. What I really love about these newer recorders is that they are including the two trans transmitters with it. And um, you're able to record in mono. And what that really means is that you can have two separate audio streams recording at the same time. And it allows you to put one in maybe uh, the regular recording level and maybe one at a little bit lower. So let's say for example, you're recording something and you're too loud or the person on the recording is too loud. Um, you have a backup safety channel that you can refer to, which allows you to make sure that you're not getting blown out or blown out or peaking your audio. I also really love that everybody's using USB-C. I can't tell you how annoying it is when you buy a new piece of electronic 
and you have a bunch of USB-C options around your house and, and you can't use it because it's using a different charging port. <coughs> Apple. <coughs> Let's turn on one of the transmitters now. So right away, it gives you a bit of information on the screen. And again, I love these little screens on the front of them that gives you information. Right away, you can see that it is recording internally, which is a fantastic idea. If you're buying a wireless lavalier system like this and it does not include internal audio recording, put it down and buy something like this. This has saved my bacon so many times. It also shows your battery indicator. It shows you that it's linked to the receiver and it shows that it's getting a signal, which is really, really good. Let's go around the unit real quick. So on the top, this is where you would stick in your microphone. So let's just do that real quick and see. So this is your lavalier mic. This is what would attach to your body. Cool. And then this is what actually sticks into the unit. And what is super cool that I'm noticing right now is that they got this little like, I'm gonna call it a safety. So if you guys have never used one of these before, uh, especially like on the road one, they don't have anything like this. So literally it can unplug really easily. And if it unplugs, obviously you're not getting a signal anymore. So with this little thing here, it just prevents you from accidentally unlocking it. So that is really good. And then to get it out, you just squeeze and pull. Cool. I like that a lot. Uh, this is a little microphone as well. So again, if you're buying a microphone right now and it doesn't give you an internal microphone like this where you don't have to actually have a lavalier to plug into it, just put it down and buy something like this. What this means is that you're able to just directly attach this to you. So like that, and you turn it on, you hit record and you can start getting audio right away just like this. And I love something like this for when I'm in a situation where I'm, let's say I'm at a wedding and I want to put a mic on the officiant. Instead of taking the lavalier and asking them to open their jacket and fishing this down their shirt and, you know, finding a nice spot to hook it on and all that kind of good stuff. Instead, all I do is I just ask them to move their tie. I'll just slide this right underneath latch it on like that. And then now I'm getting audio from here. That's going directly into my camera as well. So, I love the idea of that. Let's go along the side here. So again, we just have the charging port for the USB and this is the record button. So um, this I guess is one area where I just wasn't, I guess, completely happy with this unit. Um, yeah, you can internally record, which is cool, but you have to remember to hit this button to start manually recording. So if you don't do that, it won't record internally unlike the road option where you can actually set it up in the app and every single time you turn on the mic, it will automatically just start recording. And like I said, I've, there's been so many times where I forget to hit record on like my field recorder or maybe on the camera or whatever. And this option backs up and saves me so many times. So without even thinking, I have a backup happening every single time I turn this on automatically. Well, on the road version, as soon as I turn it on, I have something automatically backing up my audio for me. So that is a really good idea. And I wish Kamika did something like that. And hopefully they have the ability to do that in some software updates. On the other side, again, it's just a power button. So you can turn it on and off and the pair button. So if you need to reconnect it to the receiver, all you gotta do is hit that pair button, hit it on here as well, or turn this on and then it'll help you pair the two together. And again, it just has a little clamp here. Again, you can just put it on your shirt, on your pants, on your belt, in a jacket, whatever. Really good idea. Hey y'all, so it's future me coming back to the past to mention a few things that I missed in the previous recording. So I'm just gonna go over a couple more things I just wanted to talk about real quick. So another thing I want to mention is that these microphones have up to 24 hours worth of recordable audio. So what that means is internally, it can record up to about 24 hours worth of audio. That becomes amazing because, I mean, unless you're continually recording for 24 hours straight, that's going to last you a long time. And once the microphones reach its capacity of eight gigabytes, all it starts doing is re-recording over your oldest audio files. So the oldest? Yeah, we're going to go with the oldest. So the very first thing that you recorded, it'll start overwriting that and just continually keep going. So you don't have to worry about it ever being full and to the point where you can't record anymore because it's just going to start writing over previous stuff. 
love that. What's also really dope is that you can connect directly to your computer using a USB-A adapter into a USB-C. And, and this one obviously comes with that cable, so that's the one that you would use. And basically you plug in the microphone to the computer, you drag and drop your files into whichever folder you want it to be, and then just like that, you have all of your internal files on your computer and not have to worry about anything else. So I wanna use about the wind muffs or dead cats, whatever you wanna call it on this system. It's really, really simple. So if you guys can see it here, it has the microphone right here, cool. And it has these little rectangular openings on it. And all you do is take it and slide it over it. And now you have your wind muff. And the reason why you wanna use wind muffs is when you're outside on a windy day, um, instead of hearing all that blowing sound that you would usually hear from the wind like that, Instead of hearing all that crap, you throw this on and it eliminates that for you. The reason I love it is because it's super easy to put it on and then on top of that, it's, it's on there, right? Like you're not gonna shake this off by walking or doing any kind of running or anything. Like you, if you wanna take this off, you actually literally have to take it off. When I use these lavalier mics, I really like to use a lapel mic. And the main reason why is because it just looks a lot more professional. I don't like the way that these things actually hang off of your shirt. It doesn't look as clean. It doesn't look as cool. Like, if for example, I just do it real quick. Like, because they're so big, they're either looking like that and pulling down and dragging down your shirt like that, which I don't like. Or if you do it the other way, you have, like, look at the way that it hangs. Like, nobody likes the look of that. So that's why I personally don't do, put it on there like that. I'd rather use a lapel, put this on right here. And then once you fish it up your shirt, you can see that looks like way more professional. It looks way more cleaner and that's just the way I prefer to use it. Honestly, I think the audio that comes out of the lapel is also a little bit cleaner than just using the mic put onto you like that. So, so we'll do a test and we'll see what the difference is, but I'm pretty sure that this is gonna sound better than the other way. One other thing that I'll talk about really quickly is that I love these locks. So you guys can see it on here. It uses this sort of, I don't know, like a latch lock basically. And what this does is it prevents it from accidentally coming out, right? So essentially you put it in, lock it in, and it's harder for this to come out and you just squeeze this to release it and then it'll come out properly. If we contrast that basically towards the Rode Wireless Goes, it's just a 3.5 millimeter jack. So if this comes out by accident, it, it comes out. And I'll tell you from time to time, it does come out. And if you're not on it and you don't notice it, you're losing your signal into this thing. So something to be aware of. The only other thing left on this is the charging port and the record button. So we talked about it a little bit on these. Uh, it's important to remember to start your recording and to do that, you have to hold the button, not just press it and then you'll see the icon start flashing on the screen to show that it's recording internally. And on the other side, it's just the power button that also doubles as your mute button, which is highly important that you remember this. I'll tell you guys an example of why this is important. Like, let's say you have talent that has a mic on them and they need to use a washroom or they're on break and they wanna go talk to their friends or other people on set or whatever. Like, you don't wanna keep their mic on. Like, you don't wanna hear all the extra stuff and. I mean, it's a breach of privacy, basically, if you're just continually listening to or, or recording what they're saying. So what you want to do is tell them about the mute button and they can just press that and turn it off or mute it, I should say. And um, no audio is going to be heard and or recorded while this is muted. The thing is, when they do come back and it's time to start recording again, it is your responsibility as a production company or the, the audio guy or whatever you are to make sure that this is unmuted and that you are recording your audio again. Don't leave this up to the, the client or the talent. This is your responsibility to make sure that the audio is turned back on. And the last button is the pair button. They come out of the box paired, but if for whatever reason you need to repair them or you wanna pair them with another receiver, you use this button and do it that way. All right, so let's do a little test. This is the audio coming out of the Comica Boom XD microphone with the lavalier put on. All right, and this is an audio test with the Comica Boom XD without the lavalier and the internal microphone. All right, and just for example's sake, this is the Rode Wireless 2 Go with the lavalier connected. 
And this is how we sound. My shirt's starting to look a little ridiculous with all these different things on it, but we're testing. So this is what kind of happens sometimes when you test things out. Now this is the audio coming out of the Rode Wireless Go 2 without the lavalier directly into the mic. But now we're about to head outside. Let's go. All right, so we're outside now and it is absolutely freezing. If you know anything about Toronto, we have about 15 minutes before it's pitch black outside. But I want to come out here and just test the audio that's coming from this microphone. Right now we're listening to the audio with the wind muff on and it's not too windy. I'm trying to open up my jacket as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I mean, it's not too windy. It's not blowing too much. So we're not really getting the full extent of what this can do for you, but this is what it sounds like. Now let's try it without the wind muff. It is what we sound like without the wind muff. I don't expect to be a crazy difference. I mean, we're outside, it's not windy, so we're pretty good, but when we take it back to the studio, we'll see if we can hear a difference. Comica says that their mics will give you about 100 meters of clear signal. Now that's really hard to figure out with any type of measuring uh, options that I don't have, so I'm not gonna do that test. But I've seen from some other YouTubers that you get a pretty good distance. And that's good because it doesn't matter whether you're looking at it or your back's towards it or whatever, right? You still get pretty good range with these uh, microphones. And that's something that I really didn't like about the Rode Wireless Goes is unless you have direct clear line of sight and you're actually facing the transmitter and receiver together, chances are you're gonna start losing signal. But on both units, what I really love again Probably my favorite feature on any lavalier microphone system is the ability to record internally. So even if, let's say for example, you know, you do drop signal and whatever it's recording directly into your camera, you kind of drop some frames or whatnot, because it's recording internally, you always have a backup. So I love that feature for these. So for my final thoughts, um, honestly, these are amazing microphones. Their build quality, their size, weight, what you get out of it, your sound quality, um, everything that comes in the box, it's an amazing, amazing value. They come in at 269 USD for the unit and you get, like I said, the receiver and two transmitters and a bunch of other little cords and cables as accessories. And um, I mean, for that kind of money, it, it's almost a no brainer for me, if we're being honest here. If you're really just trying to step up your audio, whether it's for YouTube, weddings, interviews, or whatever. This is probably the perfect solution to that because you get everything that you're gonna need to get started right out of the box. And like I said, to travel with this and to use this professionally and whatnot, like you're not losing by choosing these. So uh, I would recommend these for sure. And now for the giveaway. This is literally for only my loyal subscribers, right? You stuck to the end, you get a chance to win. Now to enter the contest, all you gotta do is go to my Instagram page and follow me if you haven't done so already. Find the picture with this on there. Make sure you hit the like button and you comment saying, I want this. And you'll be automatically entered into the draw. And what I'll do is I'll keep them safe for you until Christmas and I'll be announcing a winner and I will be mailing it out to the winner. So this is the easiest way to get a really good pair of microphones. So make sure you do that for me. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you want to leave a comment, letting me know what you thought about this video or what you thought about these microphones, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And I will be leaving a link in the description where you can pick up these headphones for yourself. Thanks again, guys. Always remember to look, learn, and share. Take it easy, guys. Peace.